Hello, I'm Katie Corona, and I'm here on a special mission from Prime Minister Boris Johnson to help you understand how coronavirus works. Now, as you can see, I'm sat here outside this school, and that's because I can't get into schools as a coronavirus germ. And if you've read something about more than a thousand outbreaks, just dismiss that, it's probably nothing. I also can't get into workplaces, retail outlets, basically anywhere that's also got a till where Boris Johnson or some of his chums might make a profit. But outside of those places, it's very important to only hang around in groups of six or less. Uh, I, six is my cutoff. I, I, any group bigger than that, I can go for. In fact, oh look, there's seven over there. Let's give them, uh, excuse me, hello, on my, oh. One of them's got a dead grouse. I can't attack people who are grouse shooting or hunting with hounds. That's not how science works. It's very important to wear a mask though. That'll help keep you safe. And I can see over here, there's some people without masks. Aha, at last my chance to do some inf- Oh, they're in a pub. Well, they're completely safe in a pub. I'm not allowed to go to the pub. Oh. Gentlemen, please. Oh, it's 10 o'clock! I am allowed in the pub after 10 o'clock! Hooray! Last orders! Last orders for all of you! <laughs> now, you might be wondering whether, in this pandemic, you can organise a wedding or a funeral. And the answer is that you're allowed 15 people at a wedding and 30 people at a funeral. So if, for example, you're ideal wedding list had 31 people on it, all you need to do is murder one of them and all the rest can come. <laughs> Happy solution. So I hope we've all learned something about the science behind coronavirus and how to stay safe. Just so you know though, this science is only valid in England. It's completely different in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and basically the whole of the rest of the world. So don't be taking these rules and applying them anywhere else, eh? You're welcome. The biggest problem with nonsensical, conflicting information coming from the government themselves is that it fuels conspiracy theories. It leaves people confused about what the science is and that opens the door to people saying not to take vaccines, blaming all sorts of strange international organisations that they think might be to blame people saying that you don't need to wear masks, people saying that you don't need to be careful. And that in itself is increasing the infection rate and putting people's lives at risk. And I feel so weird making this serious point with this stupid headdress on. But the point is, that coronavirus is real, it is extremely serious, it is killing thousands of people, and we need to take serious action to deal with it, and not the conflicting and stupid actions that Boris Johnson and co are suggesting, but serious, effective action to make sure that we don't put more lives at risk. Remember, cats can get it too. But could Sydney be more frightening? Be, be more frightening, Sydney.